First there was Delina. Then came Delina Exclusif. Now we have Delina La Rose, this one right here. So today in this South Brabon review video, I'm going to let you know all about Delina La Rose and let you know also how it compares to Delina and Delina Exclusif. We do have a full bottle giveaway as well. One subscriber of this channel from the USA will have a chance to win a bottle of Delina La Rose. So if you want to find out all about Parfums de Marley's Delina La Rose, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Delina seems to be a very popular fragrance from Parfums de Marly for the ladies, but I kind of enjoy the fragrance myself. I love the combination of the notes, and I've been reviewing the fragrance since when they first launched the original Delina several years ago. So I feel like, you know, if they have three different versions of the fragrance in their repertoire, then definitely something's right about this fragrance and people tend to like it. And I'm enjoying this uh, latest version of uh, Delina La Rose and I'll let you know all about this fragrance. But before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So just to let you know, I specifically requested this bottle to be sent to me because I'm a fan of the Delina fragrances from Parfums de Marly. And you can go search my channel to find out all my reviews that I've done for this particular fragrance. Of course the original, I've done a comparison, I've mentioned in many videos and you can go find out more about the, the other versions. But today it's all about Delina La Rose. This is a 2021 launch. A 75 ml bottle retails for $2.95. It's considered a floral Concentration is Eau de Parfum, and the perfumer is Quentin Biche. The notes for Parfums de Marly de Lina La Rose are lychee, pear, bergamot essence for top notes, heart notes features Turkish rose, peony, transparent flowers, base notes features softwood, white musk, and vetiver. So when you first smell the fragrance, you definitely are reminded of how Delina smells. In fact, this reminds me more of Delina than Delina Exclusive reminds me of Delina, if that makes sense. Delina Exclusive went into the Amber Oriental direction, and even, even though it reminds me of the original Delina, it definitely changed a lot as discussed in uh, my videos uh, on those uh, fragrances. But this one, Initial Blast, reminds me of Delina. It's like Delina right away. But you start noticing that there's something different about this Delina than uh, the original. There's the lightness about it, something uh, watery runs throughout the fragrance, uh, and according to my notes uh, and my research off of the Parfums de Marly website, they're calling uh, flowers transparent flowers, and immediately I'm thinking of lotus blossom or lotus flower, uh, you know, water lilies, anything that kind of grows around water, because there is a kind of a very watery effect running throughout uh, the experience of this fragrance, hence the, the you know, the transparent glass here, see-through uh, glass bottle, whereas the previous you can't see through it, this one you can, and I think they've kind of captured the idea perfectly. And even though it's called La Rose, the rose, the rose is pretty prominent here. In fact, I think, no, definitely the rose is uh, number one, the most uh, amount of uh, note I get with this fragrance. It's the most dominant, but peony is right behind it, like it's trying to creep up and take over and dominate. So I think uh, the the rose and the peony are working beautifully together because I like this combination. It's been uh, done since Delina and it smells great and fantastic here. But those watery touches do come in if they're not using you know lilies or the water lilies or uh, lotus uh, flowers and things like that. Then the experience is most like rained on flowers, especially the rose and the peony uh, note in here. So definitely it's experienced prominently throughout the fragrance, but you do start off with that, you know, the fruity blast when you first spray the fragrance. The lychee, the pear is really, really prominent. And then when the heart notes come in, 
the Turkish rose and the, the peony. Definitely really, really exactly like Delina. And once the transparent flowers come in, then you're going in the different, different direction. And it feels like they're water dipped or dripped, uh, rained on flowers, the whole entire experience of the, the fragrance. But the fragrance settles to a woody, very, very soft, musky, woody experience. And uh, it's a gentle, more, uh, you know, fragile kind of a Dalina and a lot fresher Dalina. If Dalina you thought was too overwhelming uh, for, you know, summertime wear, because it can get a little overwhelming because it has vanilla, uh, this is actually the opposite of that. You'll be able to pull it off when it's really, really warm outside. So uh, perfectly launched around the coming season of summer where you want to pull for a Dalina and you're thinking to yourself, no, I think it's a little too much then uh, La Rose is the, the version that you would pull for because it's ultra fresh and that whole watery touch running throughout the fragrance gives you that whole kind of like fresh invigorating qualities of Delina that you would want when it's really, really warm outside. So I think now they've captured Delina for all seasons. You've got the original Delina, you've got the Delina Exclusive, which is uh, perfect for when it's a uh, really cold outside of course it's a got lots of you know amber oriental touches and now we've got the opposite of that the complete opposite with la rose where it's very very fresh and over dose of freshness still you have the delina as i said it totally reminds me of the original delina whereas delina exclusive you can say it's not like a an offspring of delina but here it really does up until you get to the watery touches and you'll realize that the fragrance is going into a, a different direction. You know, I really enjoy this combination of notes, the rose, the, the lychee fruit, the, the pear, the peony, really, really beautiful combination. It makes for a really, really beautiful wearing experience. And I think for warmer months, I think Delina La Rose will be perfect. So if you're curious to learn more about it, uh, do check it out. Go smell it and sample it. But as I said, we do have a full bottle giveaway over at Safra Bon. In the link, uh, in the info box, you can click the link to Safra Bon. You can go there and find out how to participate for your chance to win a bottle of Delina La Rose from Parfums of Marley. This is a USA uh, sponsored giveaway. Uh, find out all the information there. Then come back here and let me know your thoughts on Delina La Rose from Parfums of Marley. Are you a fan of this trio of fragrances or this collection of fragrances called Delina? Let me know. Put some comments down so I can find out. If you're a woman, let me know what your favorite uh, uh, Parfums of Marley feminine fragrances are. If you're a man, let me know what your favorite um, male targeted uh, Parfums de Marley fragrances are, or just in general, let me know what you like from this house. I'd like to find out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today to watch my video review for Delina La Rose from Parfums de Marley. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please do like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I did want to mention something, but I decided to leave it till the end. I'm talking about watery uh, touches running throughout this fragrance. And I did not mention that it's aquatic. It's not aquatic, uh, absolutely not. There are no watery, uh, there are no aquatic touches running throughout the fragrance because it can come off aquatic but we're talking about water. It could be like a water fountain, a pond, a little lake, a creek, you know, just where these um, watery flowers grow. That's the experience I'm getting. Or it's rain, you know, like rainwater or morning dew or things like that. That's the watery experience that this fragrance uh, really has a lot going on with. So it is a watery touch. And I, you know, I like, this ex I like this experience. Louis Vuitton did a lot of their feminine targeted fragrances with this kind of like watery undertone. And it really does work. It makes for a kind of a fresher uh, experience. You know, it's an easier to wear and it's perfect to wear all year round and especially when it's warm outside. So it doesn't go aquatic. I mean, it does go aquatic. It doesn't go marine, if that makes sense. That's the deal with this fragrance. Thanks for sticking around till the end.